지난 한 주간 다루었던 뉴스입니다. 다시 한번 들으시면서 모르는 것이 나오면 확인하시고 자신의 것으로 만들어 실력 향상을 도모하시기 바랍니다. 오늘의 뉴스는 테니스 세계 1위 조코비치 선수의 체류 허가에 대한 최종 결정을 내린 호주 연방법원에 관한 소식입니다. 어떤 결정을 내렸는지 그 결정에 대한 조코비치 선수의 반응은 어떠한지 알아보시기 바랍니다. Federal judges in Australia have ruled that the men's number one tennis player Novak Djokovic should be deported, ending his hopes of competing in the Australian Open tournament, which is due to begin tomorrow. It rejected his final attempt to stay in the country after a bitter 11-day dispute about his COVID vaccination status. Afterwards, the defending champion said he was extremely disappointed, but would respect the court's decision. Federal judges in Australia have ruled that the men's number one tennis player Novak Djokovic should be deported, ending his hopes of competing in the Australian Open tournament, which is due to begin tomorrow. It rejected his final attempt to stay in the country after a bitter 11-day dispute about his COVID vaccination status. Afterwards, the defending champion said he was extremely disappointed, but would respect the court's decision. 오늘의 뉴스는 영국에서 발견된 희귀 구마에 관한 소식입니다. 누가 어떻게 발견한 어느 시대의 것이고 경매가는 어느 정도로 예상되는지 알아보시기 바랍니다. And the Telegraph covers the discovery of a rare gold coin by a metal detectorist in Devon. The item was minted in 1257 and features an image of the then king, Henry III. It's the first of its kind to be found in more than 260 years, and it's expected to sell at auction for at least £400,000. And the Telegraph covers the discovery of a rare gold coin by a metal detectorist in Devon. The item was minted in 1257 and features an image of the then king, Henry III. It's the first of its kind to be found in more than 260 years, and it's expected to sell at auction for at least £400,000. 오늘의 뉴스는 존슨 영국 총리의 사임을 재차 요구한 노동당에 관한 소식입니다. 무엇을 이유로 사임을 요구하고 있는지 알아보시기 바랍니다. Labour have accused the government of being in chaos and again call for Boris Johnson to resign after Dominic Cummings unleashed a new attack on the Prime Minister, claiming he'd lied to Parliament about a gathering in Downing Street at the height of the first lockdown. Mr Johnson's former senior adviser, who's now become one of his fiercest critics, said he was prepared to swear under oath that the Prime Minister knew it was a drinks party, a claim denied by number 10. Labour have accused the government of being in chaos and again called for Boris Johnson to resign after Dominic Cummings unleashed a new attack on the Prime Minister, claiming he'd lied to Parliament about a gathering in Downing Street at the height of the first lockdown. Mr Johnson's former senior adviser, who's now become one of his fiercest critics, said he was prepared to swear under oath that the Prime Minister knew it was a drinks party, a claim denied by number 10. 오늘의 뉴스는 오미크론 변종 관련 추가 방역 조치의 연장 여부에 대한 존슨 총리의 발표에 관한 소식입니다. 이 추가 방역 조치의 연장 여부는 어떻게 되는지 알아보시기 바랍니다. Boris Johnson has announced that the extra coronavirus measures introduced in England following the discovery of the Omicron variant last month will come to an end next week. There will be no mandatory requirement for face coverings, the advice to work from home will end, and there will be no need to show a COVID pass to enter large gatherings. Boris Johnson has announced that the extra coronavirus measures introduced in England following the discovery of the Omicron variant last month will come to an end next week. There will be no mandatory requirement for face coverings, the advice to work from home will end, and there will be no need to show a COVID pass to enter large gatherings. 오늘의 뉴스는 아마존 창업자 제프 베이조스가 투자하고 있는 신생 벤처 기업에 관한 소식입니다. 이 기업의 이름은 무엇이고 어느 분야에 연구를 하고 있는지 알아보시기 바랍니다. Queen there with an immortal question. Who wants to live forever? Well, it seems Jeff Bezos does, or at least longer. The billionaire Amazon founder is putting a lot of money behind Altos Labs. It's a biotech startup researching how to prolong human life. And the latest world-famous scientist it has recruited is Hal Barron as its chief executive. Queen there with an immortal question. Who wants to live forever? Well, it seems Jeff Bezos does, or at least longer. 
The billionaire Amazon founder is putting a lot of money behind Altos Labs. It's a biotech startup researching how to prolong human life. And the latest world-famous scientist it has recruited is Hal Barron as its chief executive. 시청해 주셔서 감사합니다. 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다.